First, it's an update to a story you'll see only here on Fox. Last month, we told you about a Denver quadriplegic man who was facing eviction. Just this morning, he was on the verge of homelessness once again. He's currently on Section 8 housing and says waiting on Denver Housing Authority was wreaking havoc for him. Fox 31 problem solver Gabby Easterwood is on it for us tonight with good news after we reached out to the Housing Authority. Well, we just learned that his current lease was extended for another month and Denver Housing Authority says they have green lighted his move into a new apartment. Uh, Dane Isom surrounded by moving boxes. I'm tired of living out of boxes. As you can see, I got boxes here, boxes there, boxes everywhere. The same picture we showed you just last month. I just want to move and go somewhere where I can be at peace. Originally, Isom was approved for a one-bedroom apartment, but with his medical supplies and chair, it wasn't nearly enough room. Then, when he did find a large enough spot, it wasn't approved due to a price issue. That's when we reached out to Denver Housing Authority. At the time, they told the problem solvers they were aware of the situation, but didn't provide further comment. I've been just trying to find a place. And, you know, it's like it takes longer and longer to find a place when the only thing you can find was ills with steps, second floors. I can't go to the second floor no more. This time around, at another location, he found out there was an issue with an apparent typo on his ID. I had that ID for a long time, and nobody never said anything about it. He thought he would have to provide DHA with further identification, but after we reached out to the housing authority, they told us that would not be the case. Now, he's finally secured another apartment, and the housing authority is hopeful he can move in soon. I'm not going to stop trusting God. I don't care what is thrown at me. Well, with a new location, there was a new deposit for him every time he found a new apartment. So loved ones have set up a GoFundMe to help with some of these funds that, that he has had to pay out of pocket. We have a link to that GoFundMe on our website at KDBR.com. In Denver, Gabby Easterwood, Fox 31.